hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title of this video this is the first video in my little like wedding series that i'm gonna start here on my channel so if this is the first time that you're seeing my face then hello i thought i would start off with this video just because i kind of wanted to set like base to kind of build all my like wedding videos on i've watched a lot of these types of videos and i find them very very helpful yeah as you can see by the title this is kind of like where to start with the whole wedding planning whether you're watching this because you need help or if you're just watching this not planning on getting married but just want to watch to see how it all kind of works then yeah hopefully you find this helpful so I know that when you try and look at a wedding at a whole it can be very overwhelming to try and figure out where to start and kind of what to book first and kind of what to do I know that was definitely the case with me if you guys are new then I'll give you a quick rundown so I'm 22 my fiance is 22 and we had been dating for two years and then at the end of our two years years we got engaged I did a whole like video around the engagement and like a Q&A so I'll leave that video down below and in the eye as well if you do want to go and watch that we've been engaged now for over a year and we're looking at having our wedding in 2022 by the time that we are planning on getting married we will have been engaged for for just over probably like two years which I think is a good time for a lot of people that might be a really long time being engaged and for other people it might not be enough time being engaged but that's just what's working for us so we kind of wanted to plan our wedding a little bit further down the track than when we got engaged just because of the whole pandemic that kind of flew up okay hopefully this angle looks a little bit better I wasn't happy with the way it was kind of sitting before obviously I'm not an expert and I'm not a wedding planner but I thought I would put together a list of like my kind of guidelines that I'm following when planning my wedding. I've written down a list of tips on my phone. After that very long introduction, let's jump into this video. So the first thing that I've written down when you're looking at where to start with wedding planning is to buy a planner. It's going to help keep you more organized and just so that you've got all your details for your wedding all in one place. So I have this one here. So this one is just like a pale pink color and it's got forever um and then wedding planner underneath this one my sister actually gave me for Christmas or for my birthday one year but it is from Kmart. This is the old one from Kmart and they have since brought out a new and updated version. Obviously you don't have to get the ones from Kmart but I would highly recommend just getting some sort of planner. So this one is really good because in the middle it has like a wedding um, like countdown checklist so it's got like the whole like 12 months, 6 to 9 months, 3 to 5 months, 1 to 2 months, 2 weeks, 1 to 2 days and then after the wedding and then you've got all these different sections down this side and then there is another lot of ones down the side on this part and you've got your countdown so that just has like little things that you can like tick or color in when you've done those bits and pieces so you've got a section for ideas budget guests venue reception photography entertainment and attire and then on the second lot you've got a section for beauty food transport ceremony stationery florist gifts and honeymoon so when you're going around and like researching things you want to make sure you're keeping all your information in one place because if you've got bits and pieces kind of just scattered all over your house it's gonna get very messy you're gonna lose things and you're gonna lose like contact details and addresses and phone numbers so things like this are great the other thing I would recommend getting that I'm actually still yet to get myself is like a ring binder or like a folder that you can slot contracts and paperwork and stuff in because I didn't realize but when you are planning a wedding you get given so much paperwork whether that is just like printouts from different venues that you're going to visit of like all their like menus and the prices and just everything to do with weddings whether that is contracts for like your florists your photographers your videographers your officiants you want to make sure you're keeping it all together just so that if you do need to find anything or like if you're not sure if you've paid a bill or like your invoices you want to make sure you're chucking them all in one place so it's kept organized so my next tip is to pick your season this will kind of help your vision for like the rest of your wedding kind of fall into place so that was one of the first things that Phil and I did was we picked our season and we went from there the 
next thing I think you should do is to make a Pinterest board. So if you guys don't have Pinterest, then what are you doing? Because Pinterest is amazing. There are so many different wedding pictures and wedding inspos on Pinterest. So I'll give you guys a sneak little preview into my Pinterest board. So I actually have two Pinterest boards to do with weddings. First thing is like wedding ideas. So if I see anything that I like the look of to do with weddings, then I will pin it in that board. So if I kind of show you. So I've got like different like colors and like venue things, dresses, invites. Like there's just heaps on here. I do have some like cake inspo countdown things tips. Now my second Pinterest board that I've got is called my wedding vision. That I'm not gonna show in this video just because it is more like specific on my overall vision for our wedding. If you guys are following me on Pinterest then the board is public so you can go and view it. Yeah I don't want to show it in this video just because I am wanting to make this a whole little series and if I show you everything that I'm doing then it's going to be really boring for you guys to watch. So making a Pinterest board or a couple of boards if you're crazy like myself um, just kind of helps you to get ideas in your head and kind of shows you other pictures of weddings so you can pull inspo from different types. I would recommend searching up whatever season you want to do um, and then like weddings in that season and then you can kind of see how other people have done it. The next thing that I would recommend doing before you do anything else like before you go and visit anything or book anything is to make a list of of things that you value and what you want to spend most of your money on. Phil and I did this. We wrote down basically everything that we need to pay for in our wedding. Just kind of put ticks or crosses with what we want to spend more money on. So for example, the things that we value the most are venues, photography, and videography, and kind of like food as well. So that kind of falls into the um, category. We knew from the get-go that we wanted to spend the bulk of our money on that. So like for example, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on my dress and I don't want to be spending a lot of money on flowers because I do want to look nice but I also don't want to pay like $5,000 for a dress that I'm only going to wear once. And flowers, you guys all know if you've been on my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of like real plants. I prefer fake plants because I can't keep real ones alive so I don't want to be like getting a whole heap of flowers that are probably just going to die in like the next few days. Like you might value flowers, you might value really nice looking invitations and save the dates. You might value venues, you might value photography, you might value food and just not so fussed on the venue. You know it all changes and every wedding is unique and different so that is the beauty of it. But that will also kind of give you a good guideline when you are searching for like all your vendors and kind of looking at purchasing things for your wedding because then it will be in line with what you value. The next thing that I would do before you go and book anything or view anything is to draft up a rough guest list. So I found this worked when you do it first because if you go to a whole bunch of venues you will get the question so how many guests are planning on attending your wedding and if you guys have no idea it's going to make it really hard to try and book or arrange any kind of venue and catering as well on top of that. Write a guest list just so that you've got a rough idea of how many people you're having because you might go to a venue and they can only fit 80 people and you've got a guest list of like 150 so you know that that venue is not going to be right because they can't fit the right amount of people for you. Or you might go to a venue and they might say that their minimum people that they can cater for is 100 and you've got 60 guests coming so you know that that venue is going to be too big for you. So yeah just having a guest list when you go and visit things really really helps. After doing all of that I would select a date or like a rough date go and visit venues. So you want to kind of have like a rough date in mind again that will tie in with your season. So when you pick your season you can kind of pick a date in that season that you want. When you go and visit venues you need to know if they have that date available. Obviously that date could change depending on what your venues have available but as long as you have a rough sort of idea on when you want to get married. Phil and I, we picked our season and we've picked our date um, and then we went to a few venues but so far we've been really blessed and all of our places that we've been looking at 
have our date available. So Phil and I have actually booked um, one of our venues. So we've booked our ceremony location. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I know where I want to have our reception, but we are just going to go and visit one more place. I have actually done a like venue shopping video. It won't be up yet because obviously this is the first video in my wedding planning series. That video will be going up next, um, but I will put it up once we've booked our reception location so yeah we are having two different venues um, I can kind of give you a bit of a hint so our ceremony location is at a church and yeah our reception is going to be a bit more of a fancier kind of place so I'm going to leave it at that it's very exciting stuff you don't want to just book any venue you want to make sure it's right and that it feels good and it like kind of is what you were envisioning in your head if that makes sense so the next thing going down from the venue is that you want to book your order of importance first you want to book what you value most first so whether that is you value your dress over photos get your dress first then book your photographer for us or like I said our things that we value were the venues the photographer the videographer and kind of like the food I actually just booked our photographer this morning videographer I still need to get round to so obviously like photos and venues are coming first and then like my bridesmaids dresses and like my dress and the invites are later on because we don't value them as much as we value like those big things if that makes sense but there's no point booking things that aren't important to you first over things that are because obviously you want to make sure that certain vendors or certain things are available for your date always be on the lookout for like wedding decor or always look out for like wedding inspo things whether that's like wedding inspo magazines whether it is like decor from the op shops even if it's like small things it could end up saving you a heap of money so kind once you've booked your order of importance then I would designate with your fiance what you are both going to be working on in planning the wedding so Phil and I we wrote a whole list of things that I'm going to be doing and things that he's going to be doing and then things that we're going to be doing together so for example things we're going to be booking or looking at together is like the venue the food the photography videography all those kind of things and then things that I'm going to be doing so I'm going to be organizing my dress I'm going to be organizing the bridesmaids dresses I'm going to be organizing all the hair and makeup I'm going to be organizing all the like lawn games um, I'm going to be designing the invites all those kind of things and Phil is going to be doing some of the activities for kids his suit his groomsmen's suits all their shoes all their accessories all those kind of things he's going to be doing transport so things like that so you want to make sure you're kind of splitting the wedding costs things in half so that you aren't feeling like you're taking on the majority of everything and your fiance is just gonna sit there and be like oh yeah just whatever like just book whatever like no you want to be equally involved in planning the wedding and then the last thing that I wrote down is just to have fun and take your time you really don't want to be rushing planning your wedding you want to enjoy it and have fun with it and make sure that every little thing is perfect because yeah it is a really exciting time for a few of us it only happens once so you want to do it once and do it right it's so much fun and yeah I can't wait to bring you guys along on this journey with us I'm very very excited it's taken us a while to get to this point but we're here I really hope you guys enjoyed this little chatty planning where to start video like I said it probably is the more not the more boring one but it is kind of like the baseline of like the wedding planning like I said I've got a whole list of videos planned I've got a list on my phone but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the way of wedding content because I want to try and film as much of it as I can because I want to be able to look back on it in like two or three years time when we've been married for a long period of time I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media it's always linked down below in the description box and I think that's everything so I will see you guys in my next video bye